Okay, listen. On occasion, clients might need to make a vehicle disappear, and for 10 grand, such a thing can be handled. What was the name of the client? No names came up. He called me in the morning, he said the right things, we struck a deal. But I never met the man, it was all anonymous. And how did you get paid? We used the drop. The client left a bag full of cash in a dumpster in the Lower East Side, right after the SUV got turned into a panini. Aston, what happens if you crush your car and then you don't get your money? <laughs> that does not happen. Mr. Castle, just what in the hell do you think you're doing? Did you give that TV station the precinct number? I'm not gonna give my home phone. That's private. The NYPD is not your personal secretary. Do you know how many man hours this little stunt of yours is costing us? The phones have been ringing off the hook. Did you hear that? Ringing off the hook? We have leads. What just happened? Castle. Did the Invisible Man just goose you? Castle. I know, they like that, so gauche. <laughs> That's pretty good. You're really selling the Invisible Man. <laughs> this is... this is real, this is... <laughs> I touched it! Whatever it was, I touched it! Are you okay? What was that? That was him. The invisible man is real. Yeah, well, whatever it that whatever it was. It just ran off with the only lead we have. No. It ran off with my credit card. I managed to hang on to the key card. You don't think he's still here, do you? This is a medal of outstanding service from the NYPD for your invaluable help with tracking down our witness. What's going to happen to Jason's sister, anyway? She's agreed to testify. And with her help, our three victims, along with many, many other people, will finally get justice. And maybe you should give this medal to her. I didn't do much to deserve it. Are you kidding? You put up with Castle for two whole days. <laughs> I enjoyed the challenge. In my experience, it's the most difficult children who prove most rewarding. Isn't that right, Mr. Castle? Mr. Castle. No faces. That's right. Adam, just answer one question, and it might save your life. Where are Orin and Kent? Ugh. If you cops were capable of doing your jobs, you'd know. And looking back, maybe none of this would have ever happened. Look, a horrible thing was done to you. But how is killing two more people going to fix that? How is that going to heal you? It won't. It will. Don't you see that I've already won? I'll tell you what, admit that I've won, and I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a chance to find Kent or Orin before... Fine. You won. Now give me the hint. Change my mind. Seven minutes left. She's got to make a move, shake him up somehow. She will. Net player. That's evocative. I could, I could... See how you would pick that. I picture a, a hooded figure in all black, tall, muscular, maybe carrying an ax. But you know what I don't picture, Adam? What nobody pictures? 
You. You think that you won? You haven't. Everyone else has. What do you mean everyone else? Everyone. Whoever bullied you, whoever hurt you, belittled you, who thought that you were weak and worthless and small. And you know what, Adam? They were right. No, they weren't. I am not any of those things. You're all of them and worse. I am what people made me. You were born this way, or your mommy made you, but Tim Witherspoon and the rest of the kids at school, they didn't break you. You were already broken. They only sensed what you were and what you were about to become. So you know what? In a way, their bullying wasn't enough. How can you say that to me? I'm the victim here. And you're always gonna be a victim. You think that hiding behind a username and killing is going to change that? That won't get you respect. You're always gonna be the same pathetic loser that- I'm not a loser! And when you abducted Kent and Orrin, I bet the two of them looked at each other and thought, are we being punked here? Believe me, they didn't. They think it's a joke. They're afraid, they're, they're terrified. They're by... sharing a laugh right now about you. They are not laughing. She just got them to say that they're together. Oh, they're laughing. They're laughing right now. Well, not for long. That clock will hit zero and their screams will echo off the tiled walls as they take in their last breath of stale air. And then they'll both fry. Tiled walls and stale air. That was how he talked about the locker room at his school. Where Witherspoon put him on video. He's bringing this thing full circle. What was the name of that high school? Harding High, but they moved to a new campus. The original building is shut down. Take it! You know, the only other world I would ever want to visit is the one where I made it to our wedding. Thank you. Yeah, I know. It's the reason I haven't been sleeping. I keep trying to figure it out. How do you live with the man who's lost two months of his life and left you at the altar? How do I live with the pain I know I've caused you? How do we get past this? I wish I knew. I think I have the answer. We just do. So, Catherine Beckett, will you marry me? I've already said yes. Will you marry me right now? Well, you know what really gets me? Is that they said they only invited immediate family. What? We're not family? More like poor relations. And we're probably the reason that they fell in love in the first place. Right? You know, I've been listening to your belly aching for the last few days. And I have to ask, what the hell's wrong with you two? Come on, sir. It doesn't bother you. You really want to know what I think, detectives? I think that the two of you should stop whining like two little schoolgirls who weren't invited to the dance and be happy that your friends, your very dear friends, have found a way to make it work. Especially after all the hell those two have been through. And well, that's what I think. Well, when you put it that way. Yeah, I mean, I guess in some opinions, we have been kind of jerks about it. Right, so. Yeah, you have. But. If you're interested, there might be something you could do to make it up to them. So what do you think? This feels different, doesn't it? What does? Rolling up to a crime scene as a married couple, or like Nick and Nora Charles. No, like Macmillan and wife. Heart to heart. Turner and Hooch. Turner and Hooch aren't even married. Yeah, but you still remind me a little of Hooch. Time to hit cruise control. You know, maybe that's what I need. Catchphrase. Time to meet out justice. Time for prison time. Yeah, you keep working on that, bro. Time to pay the bill for doing the kill. OK, on second thought, don't. So you're admitting he was your doctor? I don't like that word, admit. Acknowledging? Ah, oh, Rick, me and you, we had a good relationship once, huh? We still do, don't we? I don't know. I, I need to know I can speak freely. You're not gonna turn around and repeat what I say to the authorities. Dino, you can trust me. Eric was family. My cousin Bruno's kid. By a girl he had on the side. Bruno, he died in a slammer. 
So I looked after Eric. I sent him to the best schools. I didn't want him to work for the family, but you want to hear God laugh, you tell him, you tell him all your plans, man. So what happened? A few years back, one of my guys got shot. It happens. He would have croaked, but Eric stepped up. Next thing I know, next thing I know, he's got a taste for the life. I need to find out who did this to him. Don't take this the wrong way, do you know? But I think you already do know. It was not Christopher. All the evidence says that it was. He was framed. He's innocent when it comes to this anyway. I know because I was with him. Dino, if that's true, all we have to do is call Beckett. You can alibi him. Mm, no, that's no good. See, at the time, me and Christopher, we were uh, engaged in a sensitive business transaction. And by sensitive, you mean illegal. I don't like that word either. Does this mean you have something special planned for today? As a matter of fact, I do have something special lined up. A surprise, actually, for you. Really? What kind of a surprise? Well, now, if I told you that, it wouldn't be a surprise. But trust me, you're gonna love it. Okay, now, why does that scare me? Because you're smart. Hmm. Come on, Castle. Spill. Master interrogator like yourself, and that's the best you've got. Maybe I'm just getting started. Or not. Okay, well, ready to get out of here? Call it a night? Ooh. What's your rush, doll? Why don't you stick around a while, give those stems of yours a rest? Could I? I'm all alone, and this is my first time in the big, scary city. Spare me the telltale, precious. Dim like you, you got an angle. You're pretty quick for a gumshoe. Come on, spill the story. Time is money, and I got none of either. All right, I'll give it to you straight. I'm just a girl looking for a private day. Woo! <laughs> then... Your search is over, sweetheart. Mr. Castle. What are you doing to my desk? Uh, well, Gaines is on vacation, so I figured, why not do my paperwork from home with my husband? That is, if you want to play hooky with me. Is it technically playing hooky if we're working? Well, we could work for a bit and then maybe take a nap. Oh, I like naps. Yeah, naps are good. Hang on. Oh, it's a call forwarded from the PI office. Roger Castle Investigations. Speaking. Yes. No, great. I will see you in 20 minutes. All right, bye. Well, for once in the relationship, I'm the one getting the call. I have a potential client. Castle, that's fantastic. No, it's not. No, I was going to spend the day with you. It's fine. It's not like I don't leave at a moment's notice when there's a homicide. Well, then maybe if I'm done soon, I can swing by later for, you know, a nap. If you do, you'll be napping alone. Because if you're going to your office, then I'm going to mine. Knock him dead, babe. Where are you off to? Oh, I signed up for an escort service. I have to meet a client. What? On a what? <laughs> I just wanted to see if you were listening. <laughs> I'm going to the library to study. Not cool. <laughs> bye, Kate. Oh, bye, bud. A goodbye kiss? When did that start? Just now. Yeah, no, I'm as surprised as you are. Well, I don't know if I'm surprised. I mean, you are pretty lovable. Well, you raised a great person, so. Mm. You say that now. You weren't here for the beginning. When I first got here, I couldn't figure out what Beckett saw in you. But you know what she said? He sees the story. I see the evidence where it leads, but he sees the story. That man got inside your head and you let him. You want to help her? You got to get inside his. What's his story? What's his next move going to be? Now you figure that out, and we'll find her. Space, final frontier. These are the voyages of Castle and Beckett. Their ongoing mission to explore strange new motives, to seek out new witnesses and new suspects for murder, to boldly go where, oh, right over here. This is all my fault. It sure is. I'm going in. She shouldn't take uh, the blame for me. She wouldn't take it if she didn't want to. Believe me, Beckett has plenty of experience taking a bullet for other people doing stupid things. Hell, she's married to me. Oh, 
Wow. What? Right. How about now? That looks good. Okay. Oh, good. You're here. What is this? What are you guys doing? Ah, uh, well, Ryan was working all night and he texted me. You texted Castle and not me? Well, when you have a crazy theory, you don't call the voice of reason. A crime is a wrong arising from the violation of a public duty. A tort is a wrong arising from the violation of a private duty. Yes. Okay, I think my brain is crammed to the limit. Well, I think you and your brain are more than ready. Hey, Alexis, don't you have a midterm this morning? I'm leaving now. Beckett was just giving me a last minute review. Bye bye. Well, thanks for your help. Yeah. Bye. Good luck. You know, she's got an amazing brain. I mean, if she wanted to, she'd make an incredible lawyer. Yeah, like I don't lose enough arguments to her already. What about you? You ever regret it, not getting your law degree? Um, I'd rather take criminals down than send them up. Really? Mm -hmm. Because with your mind, I bet you could have made Chief Justice. You have all the qualifications. You're smart, you are intimidating, and you look very, very good in a robe. Wow, really? Hmm. Care to take a 10-minute recess in my chambers? If it pleases the court, I would. <laughs> oh. I think we're going to need a continuance. Uh, objection. Overruled. Richard is completely obsessed, and I am concerned about him. I know, me too. He never spoke to me about the missing time. I thought he was at peace with it, didn't you? Well, I guess the dreams made him realize that he wasn't at peace. He chose to forget those two months. He must have had a very good reason for wanting to do that. I think looking into this is a bad idea. Martha, I, I don't think that this is a choice for him. I think that he needs to know the truth. What if he never finds out the truth? What if he never learns anything? Or worse, what if he finds out something awful? I'll be with him wherever this leads, and I promise you, I'm not going to let him go too far. Excuse me. Uh, sir, the seatbelt sign is still illuminated. If you could please return to your seat. You're not smiling. None of you are smiling. And the captain's here? What's going on? Is there some kind of mechanical problem? Please, sir, just Can't return. Wait. Um, maybe he can help. Mr. Castle, I'm Captain Edmonds. You work with the NYPD, right? We could actually use your assistance. My assistance with what? This is Kyle Ford. He's the air marshal on this flight. I saw this guy. He's sitting in my row. He, at least, he was sitting in my row. What does this have to do with the air marshal? An hour ago, he sent a text to his field office about a security issue on board this aircraft. What kind of security issue? Possible threat to Oceanic Air Flight 57, I'm investigating. That's all Ford said in his text. And what did he tell you? Unfortunately, I haven't been able to talk to him. Mr. Ford is missing. Missing? Missing? How could he be missing? Did you search the plane? From front to back. Given the circumstances, I've been instructed to lock myself in the cockpit and continue on to Heathrow. Terrorism protocol. Precisely. Right now, with the air marshal unaccounted for, you're the closest thing we have to law enforcement on this plane. Which in itself is cause for concern. Is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Hey, good morning, Martha. Is he dead? Is... who dead? No, I'm just... Is he dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Castle, something's wrong with your mother. You're just realizing this now. No, no, is he dead? Is he dead? Oh, she's doing 48 hour first line. Oh, that's right. You haven't lived here while Mother is preparing to open in a play. This, believe it or not, is her little ritual for getting into character. Is he dead? <laughs> okay, so this is normal? She's an actor. What's normal? I call it 48 hour first line because for the two days prior to opening night, she will say nothing but her character's first line of the play. Okay, that's unique. Mm. Is he dead? But doesn't her play open next month? That's right. It's previews that are two days away. Well, no, that is odd. Oh, Castle, there's been a homicide. Is he dead? Yes, unfortunately, Martha. Right, never mind. Be honest, when you vowed for better or for worse, you really had no idea what you were agreeing to, did you? <laughs> is he dead? Is he dead? Do you, mother? Is he dead? Is he dead? Is...
We can stay at a hotel. That way you don't have to listen to her say that line over and over again. No, it's okay. I mean, we're gonna manage. It's just, your mom's kind of... Annoying? Yeah, I know. Trust me, we're getting off easy. One time, her opening line was, come on, baby, I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, most awkward parent-teacher conference ever. Guys, is there any way to check police records from 30 years ago? See if there were any abandoned cars ticketed within a 50-mile radius of Hollander's Woods? Sure. We just have to call all the municipal police departments in the area. And wait for them to stop laughing long enough to beg them to check their dusty storage rooms. You serious? We need to know exactly what we're dealing with here, so happy anniversary. <laughs>